I just can't imagine what they went through, you know? Discipleship, Chuck. Heavy stuff. But to give up everything? You mean even your families? Discipleship is a sacrifice, yes. Nope. Okay, I go. It's that time. Uh, you want the rest of this? Sure. Okay. See you, bye. Daniel, wait up. Tuna fish. Tuna donut, donut, and the jelly filled donut, or a cream filled donut. Um, number one, holy donuts. Holy donuts are cheaper because you don't have the cost of the jelly. Discipleship, That's Daniel, true, yeah. it's heavy stuff. No, no jelly cost. Yeah, but be a real disciple like in the Bible, you mean? Well, what does it mean to be a real disciple? A total commitment as a follower of Christ. But give up everything? Like Jesus' disciples? Yeah, I'm not sure it means abandoning your family, though. I don't think I could be a real disciple. Well, I don't know about that. Well, Glenda, what do you think it means to be a disciple? No, no, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, nope. I was just... No, uh, this, this is the Compass Committee, not a Bible study, okay? You can, uh, you can talk about that later now. Here we go. Oh, well, that's part of the problem. I mean, people are intimidated by the idea. Yes. Being a disciple. Kind of sounds daunting. Well, it's not easy, that's for sure. What's the discipleship system we have in place here at the church? Discipleship what? Should I even bother to mention that's not in the agenda or...? A, a discipleship system? Of course not. Oh, wait, there's a system? I never thought of it like that before. Well, shouldn't there be? Or do we just think it'll sort of happen? What, what, what'll happen? Well, I'll tell you what well, doesn't you happen. There's nothing gets done. System. What is the system? system? What are you like, talking system? about? Nah, let them figure it out. Park Grove Community Church has lost its pastor and its way, and is closing its doors, unless it reinvents itself, despite itself, with the help of Chuck. The Committee. Oh, that's how one of these things works. I'm sorry. Are you guys in the middle of something? A super reasonable, polite discussion, perhaps? Okay, uh, if we could all just please take our seats. I, I would like to hear a little more about Chuck's point. Me too. Now, I don't agree that we need some system. This thing has a, uh, aha, yes, there we go. When did we get a whiteboard? Only use dry erase markers on that. Um, yep. We're good. Dry no, per erase. no permanent markers. Sure, no, it says dry erase right on the permanent marker. Permanent markers will we'll shadow Literally it up. Literally, dry erase permanent. right off the marker. Okay. It came with the dry erase board, that's so let's good. cross our fingers. Just for the just, best. Okay. This is a dry erase that's marker. That's good. I was just double checking, so we're good. Marker. Okay. Right. Um, every institution or business or team, right, uh, has a system in place to help them reach their goals. Yeah. First down, Niners. Thank you, Daniel. Let's call it. Team Mr. Chuck. Go team, go. Uh, actually, I, I'm personally still a fan of the holy cows. Oh. Right? Or, or how about the, uh, it takes forever to get anything important done because tangents keep popping up and distracting everyone because somehow every single meeting Chuck finds some silly prop to play with. Team. How about that? Go team. Go team. Ra ra ra. Yeah, these are all great ideas for team names, but, but what if we go with team discipleship since that is our goal here, right? To make disciples. What does it say? What does that it says, say? It clearly says discipleship. Come on, my handwriting is not that bad. It's pretty bad. All right, and since we have already set sail on the old discipleship, see what I did? Um, I have a question for you. What is discipleship? To be a follower of Christ. Just, all right, the end. All done. I mean, we're all followers of Christ, right? We're not teasing. We're not, te we're not teasing me. Not moving. Great. Okay. <clears throat> moving on to the agenda. Now, if we. I mean, we've reached our goals, right? 
Well, it's not that easy. I, I, I mean, more specifically, a disciple of Jesus is a grace-filled follower of Christ who puts faith into action. Sounds like Ms. Beasley's been working on that one. I'm going to write it down. And it is a lifelong journey. It is not some sort of goal that we just reach and then, and then we're done. So it's never done, you mean? It never ends? Discipleship is a, a process, not a destination. Okay. A, a process towards what? Toward learning. Becoming more like Christ. All right. So, if we all agree that that's what discipleship is, what is the process, or, or better yet, what are the stages of discipleship? Stages. Now there's stages sure. of discipleship. You can't just make a disciple. You have oh. to go through a bunch no, of stages. Wait, 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 wait. Just make a disciple. I'm not saying that they come out when they have it. I think the problem is that Wait, wait. This, if you just take it. The real question is, how does our church help people through the process with these stages? So, what is Park Grove's discipleship system? Oh, okay. It's a system. Always remembering that um, successful churches realize that uh, discipleship is not a destination. It's a lifelong journey. Yes! Mr. Riley, I love it. Just jump right in there whenever you feel like it. I have. I okay. will. I do. Life. This is Beasley. Uh-oh. Long. Do we have a disciple? Journey. Is All right. It would appear that our marker has reached the end of its lifelong journey. All right. A moment of silence for our dutiful marker. It really make a lot of sense. It doesn't make any sense to me. I'm sorry, ladies. Is there something you want to share with the rest of Team Discipleship? This discipleship system? Yeah. I don't think we have one here at Park Grove. I'm still not sure what it means. All right, well, maybe it's just never been identified exactly that way. Sure, we have, we have lots of systems here in place. We have the membership committee. We have uh, the worship committee. We have uh, the... The comp compass committee? Yeah, sure, compass committee. Those aren't discipleship systems, Mr. Riley. Those are committees. No, I'm, I'm, And by the way, are. why are we the only committee that has a silly name? Yeah. I mean, all the other committees are just called what they do. A compass? provides direction and the compass committee provides direction right, for the Glenda, church. I think, I think we're, we're good. Uh, we do need to be careful though, right? Unless we can identify uh, our discipleship system and we're acting with intention. Then folks won't know what we're talking about. Or what system or what committee does what. Yeah. Sounds like a problem many churches might face. Yeah, there's no system here for making disciples that I know about. And that's one of the many no, problems of Park Grove, probably, right? Uh, I mean, you just have all of these. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. taking yeah. what Ms. Beasley said. Daniel, can you cut those in the strips for me? Okay, what do we need in our discipleship system? New markers. Dry erase, gotcha. Well, we've always talked about keeping our purpose in mind. The why. Yes, the why, our purpose. Okay, the why. And who remembers what that means? Uh, being in the body of Christ, helping uh, others in Christian living. Through worship, the sacraments, and other spiritual disciplines. Uh, meeting in small groups, that's where real relationships are made. Well, it, it sounds to me like discipleship and, and, and the small groups uh, go together. They work hand in hand. You know, Chuck had a, had a great point. Uh, we've got to be intentional and, and identify these things because, I mean, otherwise they're just kind of willy-nilly and they don't make much sense. And it, it, does need to, it does need to make sense. Okay, so do we have any small groups here at the church to help our members grow into disciples? Not nearly enough. Hey, it was so hard to find you guys. I mean, you have this whole church. Why do you meet down in your basement? Anyways, your pizza. Yeah, I don't think anyone ordered no. any pizza. Come on in. We're okay. meeting down here because Mr. Riley doesn't like us on the wax floor of the fellowship hall. Waxed floors, okay. Did anybody pizza. order any pizza? Sorry, I don't think anybody ordered the pizza. Sure he did. It's already paid for, even the tip. Guys, it's a Park Grove miracle. Bought and paid for pizza. Thank you. This is not our pizza. I'm not. Um, are we sure nobody else in the in the building might have ordered? We are the this? only people in this church. I don't right. trust that pizza. That pizza could be tainted pizza. Just Toast. have a slice. It's oh, strange good. pizza. Man, I didn't realize I was this hungry. Pizza out of nowhere. Okay, what's next? What about hospitality? Mm. Hospitality. I mean, we talked about that in the community. Okay, who remembers uh, what we talked about? 
Getting to know our neighbors. Hospitality starts at the curb. Becoming a learner, mm -hmm. we need to understand more than we teach. Mm, yes. So when we invite others, they become part of who we are. They lead us. Very good. You guys are all listening. All right, what else do we need in our, uh, our discipleship system? Opportunity. I am intrigued. What do you mean by this opportunity you speak of? The opportunity to invite people to worship our other activities at the church. Well, we, we all know, thank you, that people are searching for God, right? But what about this? The idea that God is searching for you. Ooh, right? Right? What if we took the opportunity, like Mr. Riley said, to share our own stories of how we've been found by God? Life is not in knowing, but in being known. It, not in seeking, but in being sought. Not in finding, but in being found. Yeah, where do you come up with this stuff? I wrote it down once. Makes more sense to me now, though. So, I confess. It's difficult for me to... to share my faith, to talk about it. It's not my personality, per se, but uh, something that, that intimate, that personal. But then, same hand, Daniel reminds me that we don't have to share our faith, but we, we get to share our faith, and I could possibly change make my mind uh, my, a little different. All right, what are we missing? Anything? Well, what do you call it when you send people out to the world? To be engaged with the world. Ooh, engagement, yes, I like that. To engage, what does the scripture say? Um, heal the sick, feed the hungry, care for the strangers, right? We need to be engaged in our community. We've talked about that. Local schools, healthcare facilities. Yes, engagement. It. Uh, kind of ties everything together, doesn't it? Right? When we are engaged, that's when we uh, give and receive hospitality, which affords us the opportunity to share our stories of faith with other people, developing relationships possibly in uh, small groups, right? Uh, our purpose, of course, to make disciples. A journey with others. Jesus called his disciples into a community. Discipleship is a personal calling but it's never a private one. Well, let me guess, you just, what, wrote that one down too? I just made that up. I get it. God calls us to be with others, to be engaged. So, being a church is part of following Jesus. Yes, Christianity, children, is a social religion, not a spectator sport. Was that? Me too. Okay, right, now you're just showing off. I mean, you're like a human tweet factory. I can't tell hey, Spewing out all these tweets. I am what I am. <laughs> I think we got God made me. I like More or less, this is like doing good. This is good. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> One thing that as long as the I mean, I've got this what people do on their phone when they yeah, write yeah. If you're going to Why? sort of make the transition to digital age, Hey, everybody. have to do is. Get it? Well, you just rearranged it. Hospitality, opportunity, purpose, engagement. That spells hope. Uh, <laughs> Our discipleship system. Where does that come from? Her, her head, our heads. <laughs> everybody's everybody's, everybody's Look, collective yeah. heads. Great question, but I still want to know where the pizza came from. Am I right? I would like to know where the pizza came from. Hospitality. Hospitality. Hospitality.